Hey guys, today on Simply Mercy B, we're making pear preserve. So we're going on a little field trip. Hey guys, it has been 12 hours plus since we added our sugar to our pears and now it's time to start the process of cooking them so we can can them. So let me give you a close up so you can see all the juice that the sugar drew out of the pears. Okay, this is a close up of our pears and look at all that juice that came from just the sugar. This is going to be so nice. Okay, we're gonna cook this on a medium heat. And it's gonna cook over a four hour period. But what we are gonna add to our pears, so they can remain a beautiful golden color, is some lemon juice. And I have about a half a cup of lemon juice here that I've added. Okay, we're at the two hour mark and we have had a color change, as you can see. The color has started to change, it's starting to break down a little. We still have a ways to go. So we're going to let this remain on a medium heat. And we just wait. three and a half hours and we're gonna go ahead and test our liquids we're gonna get a bowl put a little bit of our liquids in there and we're gonna let that sit for about a minute and once it sit it should thicken up and if you still have a runny consistency you want to let it cook a little longer and from the look of ours we need about 45 more minutes because we want that syrupy consistency
And after five hours, we end up with this beautiful pot of preserve. Such beautiful, beautiful fruit. Okay, let's get ready to jar it up. Today I'm going to be using 4 ounce jars. I have the regular size 4 ounce jar and I also have a wide mouth 4 ounce jar. And these are perfect for gift giving. using a ladle and a jaw funnel to get your um, pears into your jar more easily. And also, you don't want to fill them all the way to the top. You want to leave some room because we have to get these sealed off. And for some of our pears, we're going to put an added surprise in our jar and that's going to be a cinnamon stick. We're going to stick it right in the middle and we're gonna ladle some pears right on top of that. And that's gonna give us a, another burst of flavor once we um, get ready to have with some of that preserve at a later date. Clean the rim of your jars before adding a sterilized lid and ring. And with your rings, you only want to hand tighten your rings. And then they're ready for a water bath. And as you can see, I used my Sharpie to put a C on top of each one that had um, a cinnamon stick. Pears are all done and I cannot wait to share some recipes I have um, to use this beautiful preserve. I've had so much fun and I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, please like, share, and consider subscribing to my channel. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.